let's give a fist. Take a quick picture. Alright. Alright. We just want to talk. Hi, we're uh, still waiting for you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you there. Um, yeah, I absolutely can take your comments. Um, we would ask that you wouldn't record us, um, but I am more than happy to. We will record you. Okay. Um, we just ask that you wouldn't record in our office. What is your so name, we please? We definitely would um, love to hear your thoughts. We'll definitely make sure the congressman hears them. Um, and you're taking notes? Yes, let me, my desk is actually that one back there, so I do need to get mine Okay, back. thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. What's behind the other two doors? <laughs> Sorry, no, we just have our legislative offices in the back. All right, is there... Um, are you going to stand there? Or are we Would you like me to stand over yeah. here? Is that easier that for you? Yes, I can see everyone. My chair, unfortunately, doesn't... Thank you. All right. So, hi. Hi, how can I help you? I'm Megan Anderson. I'm sorry, I, I, I do ask that you I'm not taking pictures. film the, don't be sorry, sorry. Is there any reason, this is a public office, a public elected officials, is there any reason for making privacy on this? Um, I would just ask that you film, sir. Uh, I can't speak on behalf of the congressman. I can definitely take your notes, or definitely take notes on what you have to say and make sure the congressman hears Well, that, I, I won't photograph you. I'll just photograph okay. the people so, speaking. I'll, I'll film from here. Yes, you can fill in that direction. Yeah, so sorry. No, I can't hear please. Yeah, so let's take a big breath in. <laughs> oh, a big breath out. Feels good. Oxygen is really healing. So, um, my name is Megan Anderson. I grew up in Penfield, New York, right outside of Rochester. My dad had a sailboat on Lake Ontario until we moved. Mm -hmm. ICNT 29, the exact. So, I went to Penfield High. I had the opportunity of a great education. I also got to go to St. John Fisher College. I know you know it, maybe a small Jesuit school there in Rochester has pharmacy program now, didn't when I was there. I was diagnosed at 18 months before I was two years old by a muscle biopsy and other tests that determined that I have a motor neuron disease, much like ALS, like Stephen Hawking has, or many of our professional athletes are ending up with, which we don't know why. Maybe somebody does. I don't. This bill will kill me. I flew from this out of state to come here to let you know that I received Medicaid. I had the, uh, the opportunity a privileged person to have a good education. Do I now not deserve health insurance? Do I now not deserve to get out of bed and turned over when my pressure sore on my ears flared up? Do I now not deserve antibiotics for that? I'm sure when you have an infection or something that's ailing you, you get medicine. I hope that we can all get the medicine that we need. There are people with my disease, spinal muscular atrophy, that rely on a suction, rely on palpitating vests. I have a friend who's an attorney in Rochester. She lives in Pittsburgh, New York. She, is on, she has one lung with 800% capacity. That's very small. Her brother has passed. People with this disease pass. We fight for our living. We have fun. I'm not asking for pity. I'm asking for empathy. I'm asking for the right to my personal care. I'm asking for the right to medicine when I have pneumonia. I'm asking for the right for my $40,000 wheelchair so I can be part of our society. I went and was in Canada for a while. Everyone has access there. I'm not... People are then part of society because they have access. Are you going to push me into a filing cabinet? What, what are the plans for me? Because, because my parents carried this recessive gene, mm -hmm. much that makes blue eyes. I have no control over it. Our, all of our health is fluid. 
there's a story in here that's powerful. And she is a healthy person. And I think she should go next. That would be me. My name is Stephanie Mazigian. Um, two years ago, I was a healthy 34-year-old woman. And two days after Christmas, my apartment building had an electrical fire. I had to jump out of a third-story window mm. to escape the fire. Completely shattered my foot. It was almost amputated. I broke my back. I was in the hospital for a month. I was stuck in bed for five months after that. I needed physical therapy to learn how to walk again. I needed multiple assistive devices. It was all covered by my ACA plan, which is the first health care plan that I had had as an adult. I'm currently on Medicaid, and it is paying for my medications. It's paying for my specialists. It's why I can get out of bed in the morning. It's why I'm back to work. And if this tax bill goes through, my health care goes away and I'll no longer be able to get out of bed in the morning. I'll no longer be able to work. I'll no longer be a tax-paying citizen. And I'm just asking for a chance to have to lead a normal life. And I'm asking that everyone else has the same kind of health care that I had when I needed it most. Because you can, you can be perfectly healthy one day and within minutes your entire life can change. I'm, a, I'm an example of that. And so please, please save our care. Um, my name is Daryl. Um, I, I was born with cerebral palsy. Uh, I was an identical twin. Uh, we were born premature. My, my brother died at birth. Um, so um, I've had this disability all my life. Um, I don't think they expected me to survive, frankly. Um, but I, I was able to work for 20 years. Um, until I was forced to retire because of the de deterioration in my disability. So right now, um, I'm mm -hmm. on Medicaid and uh, a nurse home waiver, as well as uh, Social Security disability. Now, now you know, with this, uh, I just learned that, uh, you know, if I'm correct, um, the representative just voted for the tax bill, right? So. Um, if this if this thing is going to explode the deficit and take away you know health care rights, we're all con you know, well on the so I can say I'm concerned that the next step because we've been hearing this for years is you know things like cutting Medicaid and Social Security you know I paid taxes into that it's not a handout it's a contract and they took my money and now and, and if if uh, if this bill, if this yes vote that just happened to, to, uh, for the tax cut and also to take the individual mandate away, um, I could lose uh, my uh, nursing home waiver services, which is the only way I can stay in my home and be independent. Um, and and I've, I've heard talk of the cuts being so uh, severe that uh, there may not even be adequate funding for nursing homes which uh, in 1999, the Supreme Court ruled under Title II of the ADA that it's illegal to segregate people in institutions um, if, if they want a choice through home-based care. But yet we still got huge waiting lists for home-based care. So for all these years, if the government was, was acting with, you know, according to the law, there would be no waiting list. There would just be home-based care. Now we're talking about maybe there won't even be nursing homes. So what happens to, to people like me there? Do I go from living independently with care in my community to winding up on the street because I can't even get a new nurse? Yeah, yeah I, that's just, I, I, I can't believe that we're even talking about right. this kind of stuff. It's unbelievably you know? cruel, unbelievably so, cruel. And, you know, we're not just, we're not leeches here. I, you know, I, I worked as long as I could Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it's just like other folks have said, we're fighting for all of you because it could happen to any one of us at any time, you know, so. Cancer is very expensive. It's not, it's not just about and us or people with anyone. shares. There's the yeah, people no, with no, non-visible disabilities. Yes. And, and anybody could, can, it can happen to anybody at any time. So, you know, we're not just We're looking out for each other. Yeah. Especially, I'm fighting for your... For your kids too, or your neighbor's kids who maybe 
you know, or the person that you really make friends with that does your hair. Like, I'm fighting for, I'm fighting for them. And Mr. Katko is fighting against us. When he voted in favor of the tax bill, he voted for hundreds of millions of dollars in cuts to exactly these types of services. His vote in favor of the tax bill will hurt thousands of people with disabilities Kill. in New York, in his district, and all across our state. It's crazy that he voted uh, on the health care bill, right? Uh, you know, that, that, that he was trying to protect health care, and then he voted in favor of the tax bill, which decimates health care and leads to hundreds of millions of dollars in Medicaid cuts. It's just not smart from a policy perspective. It's certainly not smart from a political perspective. The district does not approve of the tax plan. Mayor Stephanie Minor, I'm sure, is, she's already announced she's going to run against him because of his vote on the tax bill. There's still time for him to reverse course. He could protect our care. He could stop taxes on working people in his district. He could do the right thing if he voted against the tax bill. Right now, he's hanging out there as someone who wants people with disabilities to die, who wants massive cuts to Medicaid. I don't think that's a place where a politician who's facing a tough challenge from a dynamic mayor wants to be. It would be way smarter for him to vote no. And there's nobody in this country who doesn't understand that this tax bill will decimate health care in this country. If people think they're hiding behind a tax bill mm -hmm. and they're going to vote only for a tax bill, they're absolutely wrong. All you have to do is look here, look in the halls, watch the Senate. That's exactly what's happening, and nobody out there is fooled by it. Right. And, and seniors so vote for the tax bill is a vote to destroy health care in this country. To give money to Period. corporations. Right. The only reason it's in the Senate, and you guys know too, is the individual mandate for a group produced three hundred and thirty eight billion dollars, which they needed to stay under the one point five billion to be able to give money away to wealthy and the corporations. Maybe they could think about twenty two percent. 23% for the corporate tax rate, God forbid. And the provide health care for people that need health care. The powerless. Well, no. Uh, we we have power because right. the, the Supreme Court says so. Well, but but it doesn't mean anything if it's just disease. on paper. Yeah. I'm powerless got, over my disease. So we're not powerless to vote. No. We're not no. Powerless. It, it, it's also yeah. seniors vote in your district. And you are now, this bill will take away Medicaid. And seniors, for the most part, particularly upstate, live on very low fixed incomes. This is a bill we say, kill the bill before it kills us. That's not an empty slogan. It's a very serious slogan. You're seeing the visible disabilities in this room. But what was said earlier was about the invisible disabilities. And that could be any one of us standing here before you. We're facing an opioid addiction epidemic in New York. Kids are dying in your district every week. This bill will take treatment slots away. will make less life-saving treatment available to families that are struggling with opioid addiction. If he votes yes on the tax bill, he's voting yes for more overdoses and more addiction in Syracuse and all across his district. That is flat out true. Yeah. Well, thank you all for being here today, and thank you for, I got for those of you who spoke your name. I did take the names down that you gave. Um, we're, we were happy to hear you. I'm yeah, sorry. No, yeah, sure. I'm going to ask you to please jot down what he said about the opioid addiction sure, yeah. epidemic. That's so important. People are going to die. We're in terrible shape in terms of that epidemic. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. And, and the answer is not incarceration. Yeah, the it's not. It's treatment, treatment and, and health. We have to. And it's, it's, it's a, a health crisis all over the country. And it also has to be done in a way where people who rely on those medications still have access to them. Yes. Because some of us, some of us need them to get out of bed in the morning. And my doctor is so scared that he's not, you know, he, I'm not getting the pain management medications I need because he's, he's th talking, thinking about people looking over his shoulder. And we believe if he will put, if he will put his constituents first, and not the political interests of people that are not his constituents, he will do the right thing. And that is fight to get these things out of this tax bill and stand up for health care and not cut anyone off of it.
There are no hedge fund billionaires in his district. There are no private equity billionaires in his district. Tom Golisano moved away to Florida years ago. There's a lot of people with disabilities, a lot of families struggling with opioid addiction, a lot of working class families that will see their taxes go up under this bill, and that's why he should vote no. Thank you. I'm going to ask again, to be, we are being scrupulous. We are giving you laser details, and I'm going to ask you, I'm sorry, to, I know you included the opioid addiction. How about the nursing home, all of the seniors that rely on Medicaid, who will not be able to stay in nursing homes? Who are or large, get home-based care, as they have exactly, a right to. Exactly, large part And it's cheaper to do it that way. Where will these people go? These are our grandparents. These are... These will be family us. members. <clears throat> and the rest of us are getting hit, cut off at the knees. I don't know how I would be able to handle taking care of another family member, hmm. honestly. Because I'm going to be, you know, my story's not right now. to we'll say that. But I'm asking you to be scrupulous and include these details when you speak to the congressman, please. This is important stuff. These details, as they say, God is in the details. Honest, honestly the truth here, and we are begging. I'm begging. We hope he'll answer, a, I, I, we hope that he'll make an answer, a public answer, about justifying his vote on the tax bill. Thank you. 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 Thank